Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, January 30th, 2023. Let's learn a new lesson with our SEL segment. You could turn your papers over now. Jocelyn, may I see you please? Yeah, sure. Hi, I wanted to talk to you about your test scores. You didn't do really well on your test of the day. What happened? I'm trying. I really am. You have to really start applying yourself. You have to do more than just the average. I said I'm trying. I'm really trying. There's no need to yell. Well, it's not my fault you're not a good teacher. Now that you're yelling, we're going to call your parents. As you can see, Jason was being unreasonable and blamed the teacher for the grade she got on her test. What she could have done was ask the teacher for some pointers and ask her to retake it. Let's try this again, but the right way this time. You could turn your papers over now. Jocelyn, may I see you please? Yeah, sure. Hey, you didn't do so well on your test last week. What happened? Oh, is there anything else I could do to improve? Okay, in order to improve, you could do your instructional software, of course, that's always there for you, right? You could also read. You have iReady lessons that will help you comprehend. Okay, thank you, that really helped. No problem, I'll be sure to give you a retake on your test when you're ready, okay? Okay. Here, instead of Jason blaming her teacher for getting a bad grade, she took advice from her teacher and she let her retake the test. Remember, don't blame other people for your misfortune. See you next time on the next SEO. What a great lesson. Now let's learn our new word with word of the day. Hey Alex, what should I spot the whole day studying? Because I know every Wednesday the teacher gets us a pop quiz. That's cool. It's amazing that you have the foresight to take the time and study. I study so she usually does give us a quiz every Wednesday. Next time a great idea pops up into your head, let me know. For sure, I'll let you know when I have a foresight for anything else. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Wow, what a great new word. Now let's see what happened today in history with Aiden. Thank you, Destiny. Hey, Patriots. Today in history on January 30th, 1982, the first computer virus was released into the wild. This virus was named the Alec Cloner Virus. The elk cloner virus was created by 15-year-old Richard Skrenta as a practical joke, but ended up spreading worldwide. Thankfully, this virus didn't have any drastic negative effects, but it did spread very rapidly. Whenever it would pop up, it would have a funny catchphrase that talks about having a personality and taking over your computer. Wow, I wonder if anyone else has recently done a virus like this. Now, let's check in with Jaiseline for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Aiden. Today's lunch is burger patty, turkey and cheese, baby carrot, broccoli floret, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is French toast sticks, syrup cup, graham crackers, French orange, 100% um, apple juice, fruit loops, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind that lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you're going to receive lunch or not. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Jaiseline. I can't wait for lunch. Scholars, let's keep completing those lessons for this quarter's instructional software challenge. Take a look at the flyer to see the requirements and make sure to have them done by March 26. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building.
Let's get into the loving spirit by going to the sweetheart dance. There will be music, dancing, food, and fun. It will be on February 17th at 6 p.m. It will be on February 17th at 6 p.m. for middle schoolers only. Make sure to pay before February 13th if you want to go. The picture store is open every morning. Tomorrow is the third and fourth graders' turn to shop. Make sure to look at the schedule to see when it's your time to shop and bring your tickets. Patriots, last Friday was middle school honor roll. Congratulations. Now let's check out some highlights. All right. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. At this time, families, we're going to be congratulating those students that are in sixth grade that have made A, B, honor roll. Congratulations to our first round of sixth grade honor roll. Congratulations to this round of sixth grade honor roll students. Job well done, guys. Congratulations to this round of sixth grade honor roll students. Job well done, guys. Congratulations to this round of sixth grade honor roll students. Job well done, guys. Congratulations to this round of sixth grade honor roll students. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations to our sixth grade principal honor roll students. Congratulations to this round of 7th grade honor roll students. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations to our 7th grade honor roll students. Job well done, guys. Congratulations to our 7th grade principal honor roll students. Job well done. Congratulations to our 8th grade honor roll students. Job well done, guys. Congratulations to this round of 8th grade honor roll students. Congratulations to our 8th grade honor roll students. Job well done, guys. Congratulations to our 8th grade honor roll students. And on three, a big thank you. One, two, three. Thank you! Hey, sports fans. Yesterday, our varsity boys played against Cooper City. This game was really intense. We actually went to triple overtime, but unfortunately we lost 40 to 45. It was a hard fought battle. Let's take a moment to thank Justin Brady, Jaleel Bouton, Optimus Duman for scoring the most baskets. Great job, boys. But let's not forget our amazing cheerleaders. Your cheers were amazing. You girls were fabulous during halftime. Thank you for giving us confidence during every game. That's it for today, sports fans. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thanks, Destiny. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather would be an 83 degrees fair high with mostly sunny skies. Perfect day to go outside and play with your friends. In other weather news, have you ever seen pink water? Scientists have dyed waters near San Diego bright pink. The scientist's goal is to learn more about how fresh water pumps into the salt water of the Pacific. The bright pink dye allows them to see when fresh water comes in. This is important because without the fresh water, the oceans become less dense. Furthermore, fresh water can also impact the ecosystem that live in the ocean. Who knew that fresh water has such an impact on our ocean? Now let's go to Hendrick for the birthdays. Thanks, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Christian Bailey, Christelle Estevern, Janisha Pierce Saint, Kevin Preciado, Ryan Bustillo, Nyla Calix, and Clinton Williams. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Hendrick. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. No one got the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, what time was it where he was? The correct answer was 8.45 in Tokyo. Look, the Eiffel Tower and Sydney Opera House views are just posters, but you can actually see Mount Fuji through the window. So, Tony is in Tokyo, and it's 8.45 there. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! It belongs to you, but your friends use it more. What is it? Teachers, please send your answers to punstartrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!